If you followed my previous tutorials on how to install Arch Linux with the Arch install script or with manual installation, you have a working Arch Linux system with bare minimum graphical desktop environment. So there is still a lot to do to make this Arch Linux system usable. This is what this video is about. Let's go through 10 essential things to do after installing Arch Linux to make it a usable desktop Linux system. Configure Pacman. We will start with the heart of Arch Linux, Pacman, the package manager. Let's check for available updates. The main point of this is not to update the system, but rather show you that Pacman displays everything in black and white. We're gonna change that to colorful screen output. Open the file atc pacman.conf and uncomment color to make the output colorful. Ctrl O to save the file. Run the update command again. There is some color now. You can also check the list of available packages. It also looks nicer. If you want more fun, you can also add I love candy in the config file right after the color option. Ctrl O to save the file. This will introduce such features as Pacman in the progress bar. If you have good internet connection, you can also uncomment parallel downloads. So Pacman will download several, in this case 5, packages simultaneously. This will save you time when you update your system, and with Arch Linux you're gonna do it very often. Press Ctrl O to save all the changes, and Ctrl X to exit the Nano Editor. Make Bash colorful. Since we started adding some color, let's make everything colorful in the terminal, and thus more appealing. I have a dedicated video and a blog post where I share how I configured my bash colors. I will skip the details now, you just need to download my configuration files, unzip them, you may need to install unzip command before. There are three files in this archive, move them to the system folders as I described in this blog post. Close and open the terminal. Now bash looks much better, doesn't it? As you see, knowing some programming can greatly improve your Linux experience. Want to learn programming or better understand how computer works? Brilliant, the sponsor of this video, can help you get started. You can start with learning Python, one of the most in-demand programming languages. I also highly recommend you the course Algorithm Fundamentals that I am taking right now. It helps me to better understand how to make computer do what I want. Hands-on approach makes learning fun and efficient. Brilliant.org is the best way to learn math, science and computer science interactively. There are thousands of courses and new courses are added every month. To get started for free, visit brilliant.org slash average Linux user or click the link in the description. The first 200 of you will get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription. Automatic cleaning the package cache. As I said earlier, you're gonna download updates very often and quite soon you will discover that your package cache directory is unacceptably large. You can clean it manually from time to time, but it is better to automate such a thing. That is possible with a pack cache script. That will clean it weekly by removing old packages and keeping free the most recent versions of each package in case you need to downgrade some packages. Pack cache is a part of Pacman contributed scripts, so install them and activate the pack cache timer. Now pack cache will check your package cache directory and clean it if necessary every week. There are also other more efficient ways to run it. For example, you can run pack cache automatically after every system update, but it requires more steps to set up, so weekly cleaning is fine for a new Arch Linux user. Install a UR helper. The Arch Linux repository, a UR, is a community-driven repository of Arch Linux. Right now it contains more than 80,000 packages. If a package exists for Linux, but it is not present in the official Arch repository, you will always find it in the AUR. To install an AUR package, you need to compile it. I have a video where I explain how to do that. However, most Arch users prefer to use AUR helpers. That automates the compilation process and make it easier to interact with the AUR repository. I prefer to use YI Helper. Let's install it. 
First we need to install some key development packages and git. Create the directory programs. Enter it. Clone YAI repository into this directory. Enter YAI's folder. And compile. Now you can install any package from the AUR. For example, if you need Zoom for video conferencing, run YAI Zoom. You can see that it is listed under the number 2. Press 2. Follow the instructions. And install it. In a moment, you will have Zoom installed on your Arch Linux system. Create user folders. After the Arch Linux installation, you have no familiar user directories such as documents, pictures, video. You can create them manually, but there is an easy way. Just install xdg user dirs and run xdg user dirs update. Now all the user folders are created. Install essential programs. Let's install only desktop independent packages such as font, spell check, and dictionaries, Java, and others. If you need an office suite, I recommend LibreOffice. You can also install VLC as a desktop independent video and audio player. Now the system is usable, but there is still a few things we can do after the installation to improve our Arch Linux experience even more. Let's have a look at them. Install microcode. Microcode is an essential part of our processor functionality, so it is important that it is secure and up-to-date. To acquire microcode updates, you need to install microcode package. Depending on the processor, install AMD or Intel U-Code program. I use Intel processor, so I install Intel U-Code. Disable group delay. To speed up your boot process, you can disable this group screen and start booting right away. If you ever need this screen during boot, you can call it by holding the escape key during boot. To enable this functionality, first open the grubs config and set grub timeout style hidden. Press Ctrl O to save and Ctrl X to exit. Update the group config. Reboot. Now your system will boot 5 seconds faster, but you still can get your grub menu by holding the escape key during the boot process. Set up firewall. I have a dedicated video on the Linux firewall, where you can learn why and how to use the Linux firewall. I usually recommend UFW Uncomplicated Firewall. Install it. Enable. Check its status. It is active. Enable its auto start with the system. And you are all set. Backup your system. Maybe it should have been the first thing to do. It is always good to have a backup of your system and files. You can of course use some graphical programs to do backups. I have reviewed a few and provide the links in the description. But since you are an Arch Linux user, I recommend learning rsync. This is a command line tool, but it is super powerful. You can use this command to backup everything except for some not necessary files. I show it in one of my previous videos where I backup and restore the whole system with rsync. If you not only want to have a backup but also want to test your backup by restoring your system, watch that video. If you do not like the default look of your Arch Linux desktop, you can customize it with different themes. I show some of my favorite GNOME, Plasma 5, XFCE, Mate and Cinnamon themes in this video. Have a look. It will be your 11th things to do after installing Arch Linux. Thank you for watching.